Okay now folks, I am on my way from Baira where the Buddha was born. Baira where the Buddha was born to uh, 83 kilometers east. New sign goes to Puraina Khandi Chaura. The stupa which, uh, what do you call it, Ashoka failed to open. The Buddha relic stupa which Ashoka failed to open folks. So I am going on the road Yun Sang took. Folks, this is the road Yun Sang took from Paira to Puraina Khandi Chaura. That is in Lanvo, which uh, what do you call it for some unknown reason. Samuel Beale translates as Rama Grama. No, Rama Grama is 10 kilometers north of Purana, Puraina Khandi Chaura, folks. So folks, I am on my way to Puraina Khandi Chaura to see the stupa Ashoka failed to open. Now that you have seen the river of oil, her, uh, uh, to bathe herself in, now it is changed and uh, uh, become a river, the stream of which is still unctuous. From this going east 300 li or so, across a wild and deserted jungle, we arrive at the kingdom of Lan Mo. He uh, pronounces it, it as Lan Mo and uh, Samuel Beale uh, deciphers it as Rama Grama. See, what is the relationship between Lan Mo and Rama Grama? I fail to understand. Anyway, the place is Gopala. So he, from the Karmahaya River, from the Karmahaya River, he goes 300 li or so across a wide and deserted jungle. 300 li is equal to 84 kilometers. So if he, when he goes 84 kilometers to the east, he reaches uh, what he calls Lanmo, that is Gopala. Folks, I will show you in the video. So uh, in this section, this is the last video and uh, you will get an idea of all the uh, you have got an idea of all the places Yun Sang visited. He go, goes nowhere near Lumbini. Lumbini is 56 kilometers northeast of this place. And <clears throat> there, none of the uh, stupas are over there. It is just uh, a big, uh, 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 I suspect it is a fake pillar. And uh, what do you call it? Because Louis, uh, Louis Anton Führer was involved. And he was thrown out of the Archaeological Survey of India. And folks, check out the video, Lanmo or Gopala is a very interesting. This is the only uh, original Buddha relic stupa which the uh, Ashoka failed to open and confiscate the relics. Now, here is my faithful divider. I fixed it at 20 kilometers first. I have fixed it at 20 kilometers. Now let's see here. Here is your Vaida and Karmahaya. Yeah, now let's see. The Karmahaya river, from there he goes 80, 300 leaves east. That is 84 kilometers east to Lanmo. This is 20, 40, 60, 80 and 84 kilometers this is Gopala so Lanmo is Gopala Yun Sang Lanmo is Gopala let's see it again here it is 20 40 60 80 Quite slightly short of Gopala and four more kilometers Gopala. That is Gopala is there and 100 kilometers go till there. So that is around 84 kilometers. Folks, Gopala. So you uh, let's enlarge this and let's see what we get in Gopala. See, we get this long strip. This long green strip, the name is there. The name has gone is there, but actually Gopala is here. And you see these are the 
uh, uh, uncountable of bu uh, number of Buddha relic tuber on which a forest has grown. See that difference in color. This is an un uncountable uh, number of relic tubers on which a forest has grown. And this is Gopala, which I do, don't understand why Samuel Beale called it Rama Grama. Now, just see. Rama Grama is, uh, see, uh, around uh, 10 kilometers north of uh, Gopala is Rama Grama. Here is Gopala. North of it is uh, Rama Grama. And uh, you have Karmahaya here again. 56 kilometers northeast is Lumbini and Nepal is so desperate to prove Kapila Vastu was in Nepal <coughs> that even though Kapila Vastu was never discovered they have named an area by the, with the name Kapila Vastu so folks basically this is desperation and uh, what do you call it because there was uh, no city, there was no place by the name of Kapilavastu. Kapilavastu is a concoction by Samuel Beale who translated Yun Sang, which I showed you. So folks, uh, what do you call it? And in Lumini you do not have all the stupas. I showed you 27 stupas and uh, you do not have these. They just show a pillar which I suspect is fake. And, uh, Rama Grama is not Yun Sang's landmark. The British historians, they found a stupa there. So they very conveniently said that it was Rama because it was east of Lumbini. So that Lanmo was Rama Grama. No, Lanmo is here, Gopala. It is uh, around uh, more than a hundred stupas, uh, Buddha relic stupas folks. That is a different story in itself. So this wraps up the Buddha's birthplace and King Sudhodana country area. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Now there is Gopala. To the southeast of Gopala is Purana, Puraina Khandi Chaura. Puraina, uh, Puraina means old, Khandi means uh, destroyed. Puraina means old, Khandi means destroyed, Chaura. Chaura means it's a square in shape. This stupa, uh, the, uh, the Gopala stupa, it was, it, it seems, square in shape. So this is the place where uh, that uh, stupa was. Let's see the village. Here is the village, Purana Khandi, Chaura. Uh, the village is on, uh, settled on top of the stupa folks and this is the, uh, uh, one of the uh, first recipients of the Buddha's relics the, amongst the eight kings. So folks, uh, this is a venerable place and now let's see what uh, uh, Yun Sang has to say after this. Okay now folks, I have got the village of Puraina Khandi Chaura behind me. Now what do you call it? Uh, this is the stupa which Ashoka failed to open. See basically what happened was the person who was in charge of this stupa, he knew Ashoka was coming to, uh, what do you call it, confiscate the relics to make ma uh, many more stupas. So he confiscated the relics himself and he made uh, uh, dozens of stupas dozens of stupas it looks like you know a long mountain going so it's a range of mountains just made of mud the locals don't understand why it is only mud there should be some rocks in mountains anyway they are their entire thing is stupas Buddha relic stupas which this Naga uh, made and he invited Ashoka to see it and if he uh, would make something better then he could go ahead and what you call it uh, confiscate the relics and uh, put them in his own stupas. So uh, Ashoka goes to see the relics the, the what you call it uh, the, uh, what you call it the stupa which these Naga, this Naga had made and sees the dozens of stupas 
and he realizes this naga he was a cunning person he had already uh, distributed uh, the relics amongst those dozens of stupas <clears throat> so what he does is uh, he, he already had distributed the relics amongst those dozens of stupas and in each relics in each stupa most probably there was a chink so there was nothing left for ashoka to confiscate so basically what happened was ashoka returned now historians have wrongly uh, stated that ashoka got scared why would ashoka a person of the stature of ashoka a king of the stature of ashoka why would he get scared of that naga and especially what they show in rama grama rama grama is just 10 km north from here what they show in Nag Rama Grama is entirely rubbish. It is a small stupa. There is nothing in that stupa which will show that Ashoka was scared. Up here in uh, Gopala, which Yu Sang mispronounces as Lanmo, you see this whole, uh, what do you call it, line of stupas. This whole line of stupas, it's a jungle. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, you have the this road traveling on top of the stupas. So, folks, uh, I will be showing you these stupas. This is why Ashoka failed to open the uh, uh, what do you call it? This Purana Khandi stupa because it was already open and the relics were already divided. So he had to return back home empty-handed. Thank you folks.